about, I think, uh, 15 years difference in age. Well, uh, certainly, uh, Gogita Akania is uh, coming to the toward the end, I have to say, of his uh, his career. But his ability to compete at this level is still phenomenal. Yes. It's unusual to have a fighter who is staying in the sport and continuing to have the ambition that Gogita has. Look, uh, Gogita is uh, looking for the qualification for Tokyo since the beginning. And it didn't quite come off on that occasion, but he that he is certainly a technique to, to watch for because he's exceptionally good yes. at takedowns. He, he missed he miss, uh, some good opportunity as the World Championship to get points for the Olympic standings. Yes. And that's why he's here, otherwise he should be already qualified. And those athletes that I mentioned that have qualified, they have done so because of the Olympic standing. They're at the top of the tree and they would have amassed the most Olympic points throughout all of the competitions that I referred to in the opening of the program. <laughs> uh, there is a lot of Tsutsukete in that movement. Eh? There, is. there is a lot of Tsutsukete <laughs> in only one little movement of this, those two athletes. Okay, Yuko. So the first point on Senshu. Oh. And the Senshu has gone to Gogita Akaneo. He has been a world and bronze medalist. He was world champion in 2014. Second point, we have to and take care of yes. Gaginski because uh, he can perform a uh, very, very good uh, kick. Mm -hmm. He went to the round robin with the uh, wonderful Ushiro Ramawashi. Yes, Ushiro Ramawashi, for yes. those that are not familiar, is a turning back kick. Yes, on the face. On the face? On the face. Oh, oh my gosh. word. Yes. To do that with control. Yes. And that's a score, Ippon. And he scored, he got uh, three points, and he reached round robin. So well, the live stream that the WK have provided on World Karate TV will certainly have captured that. And if anybody wants to refer back to that, I'm sure they could find it on the footage. Yes. Was it day one or day two? No, no. It was oh, today. It was today. It was today. Yes, of course, yes, it was yes, today. Yes. So it was one hour ago. One hour ago. One hour there ago, we yes. are. So if you look on the live stream Man. later, you'll find that. There was a... The Zuki. Yes, this looks not so strong, no? So there are a number of things that can happen with this. The, there could be a point. The referee could give a Mabobi because he believes that mm, Ajinski didn't protect himself on the way through. Or a warning, and in this case, it's a warning and a keikoku. So, and this could also be a make sure you don't come into my range too easily from Gogita. <laughs> Stay far away <laughs> because I can hit you hard. Mm. He certainly is saying that he, cer he will not be intimidated by the, the bigger and heavier fighter. And just as it, he came out of that encounter, Kaczynski stepped back off the tatami, so he'll have a category two warning. Coming into the last minute, it's still Gogita Akania, Georgia leading one point to zero. He has the centu. It is a shame, isn't it, Davide, that we can't have an audience in the stadium yes. because of this dreadful COVID-19 pandemic. 
but it is necessary because as you see all of the officials are having to wear their face masks all of the athletes all of the officials everybody associated with the event have been kept in a bubble here in Paris for the duration of the event everyone has had to have PCR tests antigen tests we had so many haven't we David yes but it is unfortunately necessary at this particular time we have to keep these athletes safe so that they can realize their dream in Tokyo in just 49 days now. I think there was also a point for Bukita, but no video review. No, and no flags. It's not enough. Just seven seconds to go. The only thing here is to score a point from... Oh, and there we go. And Gogita has done exactly that. He knew that uh, Kaczynski would be trying to increase his lead, and he fell into the defensive trap of Akania. There's a video review request from the coach of Canada. And the video review team there have decided on the what they perceive to be the best image to look at uh, as you see let me see let me see as Kaczynski Kaczynski comes forward there's the punch there's the counter yes, you can see yes. from that angle it looks as though it passed the side of the face actually and it has been rejected Pariba Madani from the United States put up, puts up that red card. I, know, I think it, it looked as though it passed there, didn't it, Davide? But also the, the punch of Gogita miss, <laughs> to be honest. But it was point. <laughs> but we know that it's very easy to see slow so motion to Gogeta. decide. Gogeta. <laughs> Referees don't have slow motion. They have to take a decision in a while and uh, so... Let's go. So the win goes to Gogita Akania of Georgia. Two points to zero. Highlight. Yakuzuki. That was a Yakuzuki. Simple technique, right time. Pam. Classic karate technique. Yes. And there was that was a there was a double zuki there from Gogita. And the punch coming in from Kaczynski. That was a good uh, a replay of the the punch from the Canadian. 